Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Andre Fleming, uh, FC Systems LLC, here to Dave to do a video concerning um, making a JPEG um, file, which is an image file in PowerPoint. Because PowerPoint is very diverse, you can do a lot of stuff in here, but people don't utilize it for nothing more than just doing slide presentations. You can actually make JPEG files in here, and I'm going to show you how. And this is as it relates to posting your images on social media such as um, Instagram mostly for Instagram um, you can do it on Facebook for Facebook as well but these are just images that you want to post from your PC straight to Instagram and I'll show you that also later on in this video okay so I have I'm working with Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 my operating system is Windows 7 ultimate I hate Windows anything outside of that I hate Microsoft um, I hate anything outside of um, Windows 7. 10 sucks. I mean it just sucks. So as it relates to Instagram you want to have your image size at 1080 by 1080 if you're using Photoshop. Pixels that is. 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. That's 1080 height by 1080 width for pixels for Photoshop or any other imaging um, software that you could um, you know create an image in such as Illustrator. Um, the thing with PowerPoint is they don't um, do pixels, they do inches. So you can go out there and find, go to Google and just type in pixels, P-I-X, um, converted to inches. And they'll have some kind of um, website you can just type in whatever you want to do and convert it to um, from pixels to inches. So, it's a, it's a, for that, so as a rule of thumb, just go out there and research. And you know, a lot of times you can come up with your own um, information. but. I'm doing this post for Instagram, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I've already got my PowerPoint over, as you can tell. So I'm clicking on it. And what you want to do is like hover over that little dotted line, click on it so it highlights. And then you want to click on delete, because I just want to clean slate. And what I'm about to do is, um, what this is going to be for, is this basically going to be one of my little advertisements I'm going to put on Instagram. So you want to go to Design tab because we want to change this to um, to 18 by 18. Well, I already have it done, but this is where you would go at because 1080 by 1080 is 18. Well, 1080 pixels to um, inches is um, 18. So 1080 equals 18 inches. So I already have that set up, but you just go here and just type it in 17. I'll back that up and do 18. Make sure it's landscape. You know, height 18. Already had it done. So hit OK. Now, the first thing I want to do is um, put my tag out there. You know, your at, whatever your at is for Instagram, whatever your Instagram name is, you want to put that on there. So, what you want to go to is do the insert text box. And then, wherever you want to put it at, you just click. And then you have your box. Stretch it out and then click on the inside. Well, it's not working right now. What's going on? Anyway, okay. I don't want to do that. Let me back up. Let me go back to the design. Let me go back to home. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, so let's get to the fonts part. I like um, Omicron Zeta. Omicron Zeta. That's pronounced. That's my font. So I guess if you select the font, it'll go in there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little off of my game right now. But anyway, so now you have your font. What I'm going to use, so I'm going to do my um, my um, tag name, at Fleming, uh, com, ATL. And that's that on that. Now, if you want to change the color, just click off of it. Now, if you want to change the color, all you do is um, go to color. Whatever color you want it to be, it can be that color. You know, just hover over your color chart. You know, so I'm gonna keep buying that that orange. And then if you want to make it bold, bam, you got a bold. If you want to underline it, you got underline. You know, drop shadow, you got the shadow. So it's a variety of things you can do here to make it look all professional. I'm gonna leave mine that color because I like that color. And then you can just go down here and just squeeze the box over, and you can move it down to the corner. I like mine's in the corner. And then I also have the five up and five to the left rule. Sorry about that. So I would 
you use your arrow keys while it's still highlighted. You use your arrow keys. I move it over five. One, two, three, four, five. I move it up five. One, two, three, four, five. That's so. And then you just click anywhere to make it make that box go away. That's so. It's just there at the bottom, and it's not hanging off on the edges. So I always do that. That's just my rule of thumb. So I'm gonna go with the background. I'm gonna put an image in there. So I'm gonna go with the um, tropical theme. Maybe um, Nassau, Bahamas. I already did this earlier, so when I bring it up, you guys will see it. Cause I already had it up. Let me see. Nassau, Bahama pictures. I already searched for that. Pre, coming here. And so let's go to images. Once you're in images, go to tools. Click on tools. Sometimes you got to double. Okay. Now I click on tools because I want to find an image that has a large size. Because when you stretch your image, you don't want to lose the continuity. And I'm going to just pick this one right here. Click on it. And once it does its thing, you know, normally down here is a disclaimer. Just remember, you're, I'm using Google search. And it says images may be subject to copyright. So use images at your own risk. Don't say, oh, don't blame me. I'm, I'm doing that at my own risk, and that's what you will be doing as well. So don't blame me down the line saying, well, you said, Andre said to do X, Y, and Z. I'm doing that at my own risk. As you can tell, I already have it there. So I'm going to just, I already did this earlier. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, save it as. Do I want to replace it? Yeah. That may not come up with your stuff, but it came up with mine because I already had it in there. Okay. Now you will go to Insert tab, and you want to do Picture, and that's going to bring up your wherever you wherever you saved it at. Just find out wherever you saved it. Mine is in my one of my folders, one of my um, drives I have. So I'm gonna click on that and Insert. Now, as you can tell, it's small. So what you're gonna to have to do is while it's highlighted, just go up to the top here, and we'll go up to this handle or one of these, um, I'm sorry, one of these little anchor things. Either here, whatever anchor, to, to stretch it out for continuity. Let me stretch it. Yeah, that's not going right. Okay, there it goes. Stretch it down. And my computer's kind of old and slow, so you got to bear with me. I do apologize. I need to get a better PC. Now that it has that continuity in there, what you want to do is right click on the picture. Um, I'll take that back. I'm sorry. You want to go over here to size. That's, we'll right click on it in a second. But you want to go over to size. And bring up that, that little arrow over here and it'll bring this box up. Now as you can tell, you want to go to scale. So as you can tell, the scale is 354, 354% height. So to keep it, the continuity of it, you want to put 354 in that box with the width and then you click anywhere you just hit enter click anywhere and now the picture is you know way stretched so it's still highlighted you see your anchors so you can just move it over like do a left click on the picture and you can move it over now you see that this picture is way this is what your image is going to look like okay so even though you see this at the bottom, all of these things, you just want to focus on this box right here because it shows that this is cut off right here. So this is your cutoff point. Because if I dip, if I dip it down a little bit, which you can if you want to, just if I dip it down a little bit, you'll see the boxes right here. You see, so it kind of aligns aligns with this little hotel right here. That's where the box is in there. Some people would like to do it this way until they um, get their images get all that fonts on there which is fine and all you gotta do is just stretch it back up when you're done or go back over here and type in 354 when you're done and it'll go back up but for all intents and purposes for um, learning purposes I'm gonna just dip it down so you can see where the, the beginning starts on the left and then ends on the right so when you save this all of this is gonna be chopped off so just don't worry about that and you're probably wondering where do my uh, my uh, fonts go at <clears throat> it's actually behind the picture so what you have to do now is right click on the um right click on I right click here. Let me see, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so yeah, so you right click on the picture. 
and it'll say bring forth or send back so what you want to do is you want to send the image back so send back now at the bottom you can see my um, thing so we're back in business so now we're just going to be drawing our, our, our fonts or whatever on top of the um, image now I don't like that color because it is bad color for this so you just want to go back and I won't put that back to black maybe maybe make it a little more bigger so it's at 37 so let's put it at maybe 40 and notice I put it at 40 you gotta stretch the box out because the, the letters dropped and it's still right there and I might put a drop shadow on it to see something if I put a drop shadow I just wanna do it again. or I could put it at white that might be a better idea highlight it again and put it at white see if that does anything I forgot to do the whole thing. You know, it's like this ain't rocket science. You just got to make sure you um. Hey, I'm gonna go black. I like the whole damn thing. I'm gonna go black. Just, just you know, click left click and scroll, move it over. Or maybe red. Yeah, I go red. At least it'd be seen. Okay. So now you've done that. Now you can go back to insert and go to text boxes. All I'm doing is just straight text. As you can tell, like I said, look over here at your at your little at your little um, pin thumb thumb pin over here, and you can see it's still within the confines. Because when you do your image and save it, it's going to look just like this over here. Like I said, don't pay attention to this all this hanging over stuff because that's going to be cut off. Okay, so now I'm just going to put like a message, you know, whatever you want your message to be. So you do text box, and then you get your box, and you stretch it, and then you find out what you wanna. You find your font. Um, I would say I have like over. I have tons of fonts. I have a lot of fonts. Um, I use different ones for different things. You know, I'm gonna use the 1942 report, and then I'm gonna just um, go ahead and put my social. Um, social IAL media manage. I need to copy that. M -E -N -T, social media manager. I'm gonna blow that up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the font size. You can either do the font size either way. You can gradually do it by clicking on this capital A or decrease it by clicking on the, the small A. Let me highlight it first. Yep, I'll move the box. Click on the side, highlight it. You may can't see the highlight, but it's highlighted. And just start, you know, bam, 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 making it bigger. Well, you don't make it too big. But see, over here, you can look over here at your box and see that is that is at the edge. Let me pull this down. And I'm going to change these letters to white. So I'm just clicking there, left click, hold left click, hold, go over, put it in white. And now it's all stretched apart. And you can look over here at your guide as you're moving it and see where it's going to be located. Okay, it's like at the top. And then you can just use your arrow key to scoot it over so it's kind of centered. And you can look over here at your guide, look to your um, left as your guide. And you can see band social media management. And that's gonna be, and then you just click out of that, and bam, now you see where you're working with. Social media management. And I'm gonna just say, you can always, you know, there's um, I'm gonna just put some kind of little uh, little corny message real quick. And so now you're gonna go back to insert, and you're gonna go back to text box, and then you wanna click in inside the thing, and then you know, here comes a box, and then you just stretch it out. And I'm gonna just say um, Paradise awaits. Let me see something. Let me see. I'm gonna go with um, and like I said, I got tons of fonts as you can tell. You know, I just find something that you know something that's unique that is that's legible. Um, Impact is a good font to use because it's bold and it has a, like I like the way it looks. It has a bold statement. So Impact, which is right here, Impact. Okay, and I'm gonna just put retire. 
I know you can do it all caps or low caps, but you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna just put you build UILD your business and go on vacation. I'm going to do capital letters and vacation. V A C. Oh, shoot. My cap set. Okay. V A C A T I O N. Build your business and go on vacation wherever. Or go on vacation here. Up in here. Go on vacation. In caps H E R E. R E. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Exclamation point. And then you click in the box, do a left, I don't move the box. Okay, now click back on the box, left click and hold, scroll back over, cover the whole thing, go up to your, your arrows and start blowing it up. I mean, you can blow it up to the point where it's like two, two columns if you want to. And you can center it so it looks like that. Or you can, you know, you can back it down and then you can center it so you can get more space out of it so you can fill up your um, so you can fill up your um, advertisement and then you use your arrow key while still highlight I should highlight it while I saw the lines just kind of center it you know if you, if you can get at this you know if, if the more you do it the more you can eyeball it you can look over here at your little thumbnail over here and you can um you know you can eyeball it. it doesn't have to be rocky you know it doesn't have to, have to be picture perfect you can leave that black or you can um you know if you're good you can um you know you can do more colors you can you know play with this hexagon thing and just select different colors for your thing you know it's just a lot of different techniques that you can do or you can do more colors and just say oh, i don't like that one i want it you maybe want some kind of yellow and then you go there which is a cool thing. Then you do the drop shadow. Now you got that, bam. You can vacation here because yellow stands out. And then my final message, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. So you're out of there. You got that, bam. And the last thing I'm going to say is hire us today. So you go back to insert. Do your text box. Wait till it comes. Stretch it out so you can see what it's doing. Go to your um, fonts. I like to sometimes, you know, I like to use different fonts for this so it looks more creative than just using the same old, same old. And like I said, as you can see, I got tons of fonts. Um, but you don't want to do nothing um, crazy. So I'm going to do to capture it because it's going to be like kind of sketchy looking. Okay, so hire us today. I'm just putting in all caps. Hire. H I R E us today. And so I'm gonna make that I'm gonna blow that up as well. So you click out the box, click back on, click inside the box, left click all the way over, and then start blowing it up. And I'm just blowing it up. Not that big, god dang, that's a lot. Higher us today, bang. And now you, like I like to keep all my stuff centered, so you click here, make sure that line is solid, not not um, broken, or or um, yeah, make sure the line is solid. And then you can just look over here and see what it's doing. You know, and that's the final message. And you can stretch this box out more, and you can blow it up more. So I can still, I can you know, you click in the box, click by the by the font or by the letter. Yeah, you just gotta eyeball it sometime and I don't wanna move the box. There you go. And just move it over, blow it up some more, and you got room. Cause you don't have to you can adjust your box. And that's like the bold statement higher us today. So I'm gonna kinda put this on the offset. So the dot the dotted line now it's just gonna put it on the offset. Like right down here. Higher us today. Now I'm gonna change that color to something else. Again, go back in there, highlight it, 
me see. Red. Red is like urgency. And to see, and the only crazy thing, I'm gonna put an underline on it, and I'm gonna put a thing. But see, the only crazy thing about um, doing it in PowerPoint, you, you you can make effective flyers. But the only crazy thing is, um, not crazy, but the only unique thing is you can't. There's certain more things you can do in um, yeah, I already did. Now I think I'll do it white. So I'll just stand out a little bit. Okay. So now that's just a simple message. I'll click it. Now, bam. Everything's on top. Hire us today. You build your business and go on vacation here. Social media management. Hire us today. Okay, so now you see, look in the thumbnail over here. Everything's over there. Now I'm just going ahead, go ahead and manually restretch this to the top. Bam. It takes a few seconds. Bam. Now everything's covered. Holy crap. That covered my thing. I'm over here multitasking. So now it's time to save it. So what you're going to do is go to the Save As button or hit F12 at the top of the, um, of the left hand top of the um, PowerPoint. And you're going to save it as, you're going to drop down Save As Type. You're going to drop down Menu and you're going to go down to JPEG File Interchange Format. Click on that. And you're going to name it, I'm just going to name it um, Nassau. I mean, you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to just name it Nassau so it's easy to find. I'm going to do Instagram. Instagram. Nass. Let's go Nassau. Oh, N A S S A U. Bam. You got that? Okay, cool. You want to save it. And you just want to save current slide only. Because you're just doing one. So it's now saving. Okay, now let's go to, um, I already have the photo open, so let's go to social media posts. And here's what we did. And that's it. That's it. That's what you did. That's, that's bigger, but this is, it. this is what it's going to look like when somebody sees it. So that's your flyer. Now it's in JPEG. And that's it. See everything you did. Remember, I told you all that other stuff's gonna be cut off. So this is what this is your final product. So now let's really quickly go over here and post it. And um, let's go ahead and post it on Instagram, real quick. And after that, we'll be done. So I'm going to my Instagram account online, and this is like showing you that you can post to Instagram. You don't have to email it to yourself. You can just post on Instagram online. Whatever comes up. Okay, there we go. That's me. I got three likes on something. Holy crap. I just posted that earlier in another video. Okay, now I'm using Google Chrome browser. This this works with Google Chrome. I don't know if it works with Internet Explorer or Firefox, but I do know it works with Google Chrome. So what you want to do when you get your Instagram account up, you want to right click and go down to inspect. Now I was already on here, so but I'm gonna I'm a digress and I'm gonna go back to what it should look like once it all loads, get all friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to what it should look like when you open yours. It may take a few seconds here. The last time I had to reboot. Um, this is not you know an exact science what have you, but you want to go up here and click. This is where you should be if the thing acts right. Hold on, let's see if it's gonna do right. Because it's not going to look like this when you do this. But for all intents and purposes, it would be a bigger box out there. And what you would do is go up here to toggle um, device toolbar and click on that. And that makes it look like your cell phone. And when you get to this point, you would hit F5 on your key. F as in Frank 5. And once it refreshes, you'll see that it's going to look like your actual cell phone. So you can pull your cell phone up and compare it. See, like everything is right there. You know, you can scroll. It has all your stuff at the bottom, the house, the magnet, the search thing, and the um, plus button for adding pictures. So it's just like your phone. So this little ball here, this what controls everything. You want to select something, you know, bam. You know, you select that just like you do on your phone. Okay. 
put that up about two hours ago. I only got three hits. Boo. Anyway, so let's go to add the photo. Okay, so here's my Nassau, Instagram Nassau. And it's, as you're going to see, it's going to fit perfectly within the con, uh, constraints. Bam, perfect. Like I told you in the earlier in the video, you want everything to fit. This is what it's going to look like when people see it on their phones or P um, PCs. Everything's within there. Nothing's hanging over. Nothing's to the left and nothing to the right. Everything's just right there. And then you go, go to next. La, 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 la. And then you're going to write your caption. Um, I'm going to just put retire. T-I-R-E-N-S-T-Y-L-E. That's T Y L E, nice. T Y L E. And, god damn it, can't even fucking spell. Enjoy that life. They do hashtag. You know, just as a, as, as a nugget, um, Instagram, Facebook, they only allow you 30 tags, 30 hashtags per post. I did over 30 one time and they just kicked out my whole post. And another rule of thumb, when you're doing this stuff, I would say copy and paste it to a notepad just in case it kicks out so you don't have to go through all this again. So just for all intents and purposes, I'm open up one of my notepads. Where's my notepad? Ah, crap. I don't see it. Ah, well, just, just know to do that. So I'm going to do uh, social media. Management hashtag social media marketing hashtag social media. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Me DIA, and then you, if, if you're trying to find whatever niche you have, you can throw that out there. I could say, um car sells I put a lot of stuff out here because you just never know cars nah, see still can't spell I just put a lot of different things out there because you never know what's going to catch and then you can go back and research later on down the line see what happens I put um you know nurse you know I just put for for teaching purposes I'm just putting different things like that um, voice over IP so I'm just keep those there for now just those things and then of course you want to do your share and also you can look here and see what you know how many posts is for those things whatever and then hit share takes a few seconds it's my dang on cousin I don't know what the heck they're doing but anyway um and that's my other homegirl. She's a model. But anyway, um, so let's go to. Okay, so then let's hit um, let's hit the X button over here to close this out. To go back to normal. And then you want to hit your F5 key to refresh. Takes a few seconds. And then so let me get there. There I go. That they talk about in this, they're crazy. Then you want to hit your I um, your user ID so you can see your post, and bam, there it is. And if you go to your phone, that's what you'll see. You'll see your own post. Um, I'm not. I'm, there's no shame in my game. I like my own posts, and I also comment on my own posts. Because if you don't like your own posts, who's gonna like them? So I'm gonna just put act now. I'll say send me a DM for a free evaluation. Period. Hit enter. And bam, you're done. That's my first thing. But see, as you can tell, man, my posts aren't getting a lot of love because I had like nine on that one. That has 73. I'm averaging 70 to 90 something posts, you know, likes. You know, certain ones get a lot more. That's 85. This was hilarious right here. 80 right there. 
this one I did 106 don't give up got 91 you know so this one here got 406 and when did I do that one I did that one back on the 20th but I mean you know this is good for organic okay guys I'm gonna wrap up things yeah, I like my stuff I'm gonna wrap up some stuff and um wrap things up here hopefully this was informative and not way way too long I think I went too long too slow but hopefully you got the gist and hopefully I didn't bore your ass off but at any rate um hit the subscribe button for me and the like button or dislike and leave comments you know we all can help each other out I'm not charging anything I'm doing this for free alright guys y'all have a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you on the next video